Mini Bobot Robot Minnie is busy making bumblebee bows in her boutique. She has a very big order to complete. Mrs. Berry called to say she needs two dozen more for the honey festival, Minnie tells Cuckoo Loka. Two dozen more? exclaims the cuckoo bird. Don't worry, Minnie tells her feathered friend. I'll get them done on time, somehow. Just then, Daisy arrives at the shop. Are you two busy bees ready to take the day off? She asks Minnie and Cuckoo Loka. That would be nice, Minnie says, but we've got lots of bows to make. Not anymore you don't, declares Daisy, as she puts a big box on the craft table. Ta-da! cries Daisy as she opens the box. She pulls out an adorable little robot with a shiny bow on her head. I'd like you to meet Bobot, our new bow-making robot. She looks simply wonderful, Minnie exclaims, admiring her sleek new helper. She's super bow-tastic, says Cuckoo Loka. Watch this, Daisy announces. She presses a button on the remote control, and Bobot lights up and talks. Greetings, m, -m, m minnie says Bobot. May I help you with your b, -b, -b bumblebee bows? Why, yes, Minnie says. Thank you, Bobot. Bobot gathers a bunch of ribbon. In no time at all, she makes a display of perfect bows. Making bows is what I know, Bobot says proudly. Wow, she's fast says Cuckoo Loka. Want to see Bobot go even faster? Daisy asks her friends. She raises the lever on the remote control and pushes another button. Bobot's bow flashes red. Now she's set to go really, really fast. Super speed is what we need, says Bobot. Bobot works so quickly, she soon runs out of ribbon. But Bobot doesn't stop. She makes a bow out of Minnie's chair. She makes a bow out of the curtains. She even makes a bow out of the ladder. M -m -m making bows is what I know, says Bobot, zipping around the store faster and faster. Daisy, exclaims Minnie. If we don't turn her off, the boutique will be destroyed. Daisy tries to stop Bobot, but the remote control's buttons pop out with a loud sproing. Minnie and Daisy need a plan before things get even worse. Minnie notices a button on Bobot's back. It's the off button. But Bobot doesn't stand still long enough for Minnie or Daisy to push it. Leave it to me, Cuckoo Loka says. She flies over to the button and... Bobot wraps the bird in orange ribbon and speeds away. If only Bobot's button weren't so hard to reach, Daisy cries. Minnie sees her botastic bow grabber on the table she has an idea. Daisy, you keep Bobot busy, she says. I'll take care of the rest. Daisy grabs some ribbon and holds it up for Bobot to see. Hey, Bobot, Daisy calls. Looking for this? Bobot sees the ribbon and zips right over to Daisy. Pretty shiny ribbon, yes please, she says. While Bobot stands still to look at the ribbon, Minnie uses her bow grabber to push Bobot's power button. It works! Bobot finally rolls to a stop. Poor Bobot, says Cuckoo Loka sadly. It wasn't her fault. 
Minnie looks at the broken remote. Maybe there's something she can do to fix Bobot. Minnie uses a screwdriver to make some repairs to the remote and to Bobot. Before she is done, she ties a beautiful ribbon around the remote. Minnie gives Daisy the new, improved remote control. Now give it a try, Daisy, Minnie says. Daisy presses a button on the remote and Bobot lights up again. Making bows is what I know, Bobot says. She is working again at her regular speed. Well, Minnie, cries Daisy, looks like we're back on track. Thanks to Bovod, giggles Minnie. You know, there really is no business like b b b bow business. <laughs>